Hey everybody, it's Neil. Welcome back. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about my anvil. It's 170 pounds. It has a five and a quarter inch working face this way, 16 inches in length, one inch hardy, and I think it's a half inch bridge hole. I don't know why I didn't check that, but I believe it is from prior knowledge. Five eighths inch hardy hole. And it's 27 and a half inches in overall length. Anyway, if you look, it's hard to make out, and I'm going to try to move that process along here. There is some writing. It's hard to make out. It looks like it has an, maybe an A and an N, and then what looks like a G, an R, a C, G, R, E, and a C. Or it could be C, R, E, C. I don't know. Anyway, down here on the bottom, by the forge weld seam and the slots that are punched in it for handling purposes. There's what looks like a little bit of a cross type symbol and I believe a number four. And I was led to believe that that is a quality control stamp or something of the like and that those things put together makes this a hay button. I'm not sure. That's why we're doing the video. I'm hoping somebody out there has some feedback for me because I'd love to learn as much as I can about it. I've had it over a year now. Beautiful. I love it. Alright, anyway, I have a little bit of baking powder because that was the only thing white and real fluffy that I had to rub on here to try to get it so you can see the different markings. And maybe you guys can help me with a little more of the identification. Alright, we'll check that out. Alright, let me get the baking powder out here. See if I can get it on there without making a giant mess, which is usually what happens. And it's not sticking properly. Imagine that. I don't know if anything can be made out there. It looks like an A and an N and then a G, I believe, could be a C and an R, and then, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's definitely an E, and then another, it may even have been an O, half round, same characteristics as this one, it looks like you can see where it stops here, but I'm not sure, I got it in there a little bit better, but it really doesn't want to hold, all right, you guys move down here to the front of the anvil to see if I can get the serial number to come out, which you can see it plainly in person for the most part. You can make out what it says. I can try to pack this in here. Now I guess that's really hard to see. Let's give it a wipe. It looked better on video last time. They just chewed most of it out of there. Anyway, it's four, four, one five six and the next is this mark here you can kind of see the peak of the four and some of the symboling this baking powder really isn't into cooperating and sticking now you can see the four pretty plain and that symbol almost looks like a Y with a dash through it. All right, so what I have here, ball bearing. If I can catch it, I don't even have to move my hand once I drop it. It comes right back to my hand, even down here on the horn. It's a little less so, but I won't even try the cutting plate because I've done that, and because it has been used, the ball bearing just goes wherever it wants. So, does me well, and I, I love it. Alright, so, that's my baby. Um, like I said, I'd like to get some more information on it if I could. Just out of curiosity, you know. I'm sure everybody does. But, uh, one last thing. I got today from Mr. Scrooge Evan up at Oddwood. 
the hammer that I got picked for to win on his drawing. So, let's open up, check it out. Let's see if we can get through the tape. There we go. That wasn't bad. I'm sure I don't like it when I send him stuff because it is full. That is a nice looking cross beam. He made this out of the forklift time and he sent me a few of those blanks. If I remember correctly, it was three and a half pounds. So it's probably about a three pound hammer, maybe a little over. Doesn't look like he did a bunch of grinding to it. Shouldn't have to, he's pretty good with a hammer. All right, gonna give the cross peen from Oddwood Forge its first run. I did pull it out and sort of sat down and I didn't record it because I took a picture instead. Get back here for a second. Come across, work this one. And see what we got. It's a shame I had it on video camera for the first piece. This is a piece of three quarter square. That an attempt another set of bolt tongs. Hey, there it is. Three pound cross beam, odd wood forge. Very nice hammer. Thanks again, Evan. And as I said, I almost feel kind of guilty that I won this because I'm friends with him, but that's the way it goes. It's a beautiful hammer and I love it. So, like I said, everybody else I'm gonna do the same 50 subscribers make a hammer and give it away hopefully the guys that were and gals I'm sorry that were entered in his drawing can find their way to me get entered in mine that way I can give back and one of you can receive a hammer